How can I miss you when you won't go away? Or tennis must be your racket because love means nothing to you. And a one-time country songwriter has also given us a daily public spectacle. And when we say daily, we mean each and every single day since the first day of 1975. A journey of tens of thousands of miles pounded out eight to the bar. Chris Connolly outside the lines with the story of the man who's become known simply as the Raven. Everybody's running, whether it's for a race or for times, they're running for something. I was always running away from something, like a fugitive. Trying to leave bitter memories behind. This man has run eight miles along Miami's South Beach every single day since January 1st, 1975. These are tonight's headlines. On the day he began running, Watergate defendants were found guilty, and Bear Bryant's Crimson Tide lost in the Orange Bowl. In 34 years, he says he has never missed a day. He has run through seven presidencies, nine leap years, 137 changes of season, and in doing so, while always wearing black, a discouraged songwriter named Robert Kraft has become known as the Raven. I was always a little bit different, doing things my way. The road is long and it is winding, ties are tight and they are binding. Now I'm gone and it's reminding me that the road is long. Like the songs he has written, his story, the reason he runs, is a mixture of sad words and sweet music. He grew up here in Miami Beach, the only child of a single working mom, abandoned by a father he never got to know. He tried to pour his loneliness into country music songwriting, but the music business left him feeling ripped off and embittered. So at the age of 24, he turned elsewhere, to the beach, and as 1975 began, he vowed to run eight miles there every day for the entire year. I got pneumonia in uh, December, and I remember the lifeguard saying, man, you're not quitting, are you? And uh, I said, no, I gotta make it. He never quit, not when hurricanes hit Miami Beach, not in 1982 when he suffered a concussion, not in 1995, when back pain crippled him. Three doctors told me, you're done. Quit. I said, I'm going to quit. I just wanted to discipline myself, that I could do something. And then, I mean, once you keep doing it, you get into a rhythm. But it's never easy. Since then, he's never set foot outside the Miami area. Never held a 9 to 5 job to ensure he'd be here doing his eight months at the same time every single day. What would happen when people would tell you, you know, you're letting this run take over your life? Oh, they tell me that all the time. And uh, I don't pay any attention. How many people can say they run on the beach every day, see all the sunsets every day, and they're doing what they want to do? Before long, people started running with him and he began to meticulously record their runs. Now I gotta sit here and remember everybody that ran with me. He gives every runner a nickname. So we had Halo out there, Renaissance Man, uh, Race Walker. Now, each day, there's a group of runners waiting to join him. Oh, here comes two more. That's Cree, Core, and Flasher. There's another runner, that's, that's Sapphire. Uh, he's got 85 runs, Sapphire. And so, the heartbroken man who had always been alone found that his obsession has given him the most unlikely of gifts, friends. I don't really have a family, so this is my family. You always know he's going to be here. He gives us a sense of community here, which is hard to find in today's world. Raven even found the love of his life on the run a photographer he calls Miracle. 
she's seen the toll 34 years of running has taken on his 58-year-old body as he nears the date when he's slated to reach an astonishing milestone. 100,000 total miles. I know that the goal of reaching that has motivated him through many, many days of intense pain. He has back pain, knee pain, neck pain, oh, foot pain. I can't believe he can even walk on those feet. Well, getting up in the morning ain't pretty, I tell you. And sometimes he just barely make it to the next room. So, uh, just the, the physical pain that, I, <laughs> that I've endured. Why do you do it? Well, I do it. I used to do it to, to keep myself disciplined. Now, people are dependent on me. Where I used to motivate them, they motivate me when they come out. They're all out on this day, March 29th, as Raven sits two miles away from 100,000. More than 200 Raven runners, representing three decades of his run, join the Raven as he nears his goal at last. 100,000 mile man returns to the beach to do what he has always done, the Raven Run, where no one finishes first or last, and the man with the legendary obsession hopes he never finishes at all. I'd like to keep going, but some might say, how far can you go? Of course, the ideal situation is I just won't wake up one day, and then I would never know. Chris Connolly reporting, and as of this morning, the Raven continues to run evermore. Yesterday, his consecutive day streak reached 12,555 for a total of 100,393 miles. We're down to the final four 